guys welcome to funky cool threads if you guys are new here my name is louisa and today we are hitting the salvation army two dollar clothing sale with the prices going up and everything being super expensive we have to take advantage of these type of sales it is currently 8 30 um i just woke up like probably an hour ago so i look a little my hair is not cooperating but it's all good we're gonna head on and stand in line looks like there's already a line going um we're gonna get our little earphones in our reusable bag um today i am having just like a limit of 50 dollars. i do not want to spend any more of that but guys i'm not lying to you guys when i said i completely forgot about this sale and i had the most vivid dream of me going to the thrift store and finding nothing but vintage leather jackets like disney ones which is weird because i'm not a disney fanatic and then i remembered it was a two dollar sale so we're here and we're ready to find some good stuff so whatever is meant to be for me will be there and what isn't won't let's see what we can find let's head on in guys the instant regret when i thought i could actually film a thrift with me during a two dollar sale it was so packed in here i kid you not i got no freaking footage working, guys i hope you guys are ready it's going to be a long one i apologize for not showing too much of the thrifting portion but guys when i tell you i've never felt so overwhelmed inside a thrift store i wanted to cry like at one point because i just wanted to leave it was so packed in there it was shoulder to shoulder with people and honestly as much as I love Salvation Army $2 sale because I find so much good stuff and obviously it's super cheap, I honestly don't think it's worth it for me anymore. My anxiety was out the roof. I just can't, like, at, at one point I was just walking around like I didn't know what to do because you could even get into aisles of people with carts. I was so lucky that I ended up just having my bag and I was able to get through, like, the aisles quickly. But honestly, guys, I don't think it's worth it for me anymore. But... I do want to show you guys all the goodies that I picked up, so let's jump into the haul. Let's start off the haul with this personal piece going in my son's wardrobe, and it's this cute little button-up flame top or button-up shirt. <laughs> I just thought it was really cool. I love the blue. It's, I don't know, it's really fun. I've always liked these shirts. He's not going to fit in it anytime soon, but I just figured I had to pick it up for him. It was only $2, and it's super cute. Next piece is this vintage slip. I love this slip just because you could definitely wear it out. I know other slips are like super obvious that it's a slip. This one, not so much. It almost looks just like a regular, just red dress. But I love that you could wear it underneath something or even wear it out. I love this like scallop trimming detail that it had at the hem. That's what really got me. So I had to take this one home. Next is this Karen Kane, which I love this brand, like sheer top. This definitely gave me more like angelic, like cherub vibes. It's completely sheer. I love the colors. I just feel like you can do so much with neutrals. Now you can pair them with pink bottoms, and like pastel bottoms or even dark bottoms. So I feel like this is perfect for all year long wear. This is definitely going into the shop, but but it was really cute has to be by far my favorite piece that I picked up and it's this sheer purple cover it has all these swirls everywhere I love the little tassels that it has on the hem but I just thought it was super neat so adorable perfect for the spring coming up and you could definitely use this for a layering moment oh my god this is so cute this even looks like really nice with what I'm wearing I love it this is by far my favorite piece and it looks like I want to say it's from a boutique because the brand is pretty fancy and it looks almost like a vintage um, brand but I don't think it is but it looks like it's one size fits all and they were selling it for $44 I picked it up for two bucks so that's a steal another sleeveless top is this beautiful like funky like 80s like pattern print sleeveless tank top i don't know what to call it but every time i see this print it gives me straight nostalgia i used to have couches like this when i was little except the background was like black and just something about it i just had to pick it up i just thought it was so fun it is vintage really cute love the colors love the little metallic vibe it has oh my god 
When I tell you that I am obsessed with these blouses, I am obsessed with these blouses. Look at this beautiful silk. I, I can't even talk. Like it's just, look at this beautiful little collar, adorable. This embroidery detail with the sheer like, it's just perfect, it's perfect. The cuffs, oh my God, it's like, I don't know how to explain this. It's just beautiful, it's beautiful. I. I feel like I'm lost of words. I literally can't talk because I, I think this is so beautiful. I don't know what to say about it other than the fact that it speaks for itself. Like it's gorgeous. I love these pieces. They're my favorite. Ugh, I'm a sucker for these blouses, man. I love these like funky blouses. They're so fun. I actually found this one last minute when I was getting ready to check out and it was in the men's section. And I thought it was so cool. I loved all the colors and just the pattern, the sheer, like the sheen on it. It has like polka dot sheen. I don't know. I just think it's really cool, really fun, really funky. So I had to go home with her. This one is straight giving like 60s, 70s picnic vibes. This beautiful checkered or like, yeah, I guess it's like a checkered plaid top. The bag is so adorable. It has buttons going down the back, which I think is like even more of a beautiful like vintage touch to it. I can totally just picture someone wearing this in like the 60s, even the 50s, like with some capri pants and some settler shoes. I just think that would be so freaking cute. So I had to get her. These ones, I am so sad that they're not smaller because I know my friend Danielle would flip over these because she has a pair of these already, but they're these international concept pants. They have all this like hardware detail with the pockets in the front and zippers, zipper in the back, which is not the best part. The best part is the leg. They scrunch on each side and I know they're super funky and kind of weird, but I know she's like into pants like this, so I knew she would love them. I just wish they were smaller for her size. I still had to pick them up for the shop just because I feel like they're super fun. Definitely can wear without the scrunch or you can scrunch them up. Really cool, very Y2K vibes. Honestly, didn't have the best luck in the skirts, but for some reason, this one was left behind and I snagged it. I thought it was adorable. Maybe it's the color that threw some people off, but it's this maxi gray metallic -y skirt. I love all the floral detail. I just think it's very different. I don't come across maxi skirts in this colorway, but I feel like with the right styling, this would look so badass. So I just had to pick her up. My husband actually found these ones for me and they're these vintage trousers. They have the elastic waistband, which I was trying to steer away from, but I couldn't resist this color. I just think it's so fun, so vibrant, and it's perfect for the spring and summer coming up very comfy and casual can definitely wear these over a bathing suit bottoms and just walk around with a bathing suit top and be super comfortable after some pizza and some beer on the beach perfect you cannot get better than that you guys probably saw the pile get lower but trust me there's a lot more okay can we just talk about how i found my dream pants finally i've mentioned this in a couple of videos but i've been on the hunt for some pinstripe trousers, which you guys have probably saw these already in my styling video that I did last week. But I finally found some pinstripe trousers, vintage, let me tell ya, vintage. And they fit me like a glove. I've never felt so like, mm, uh, yes, like in a pair of pants. And this is what that gives me, these pants. And I am so, so extremely happy guys i am obsessed with these they're a quite a bit of a high water but honestly i don't mind it because i either cut most of my pants or i have to cuff them so they were they were literally meant for me i found these pair of beautifully dark wash lei jeans i love the brown stitching i just feel like they're so nice classic little boot cut vibe and i don't know just kind of perfect honestly i was a sucker for the tag mostly and then just the color and the greatest condition that they are in i had to take them home next bottoms my husband says are giving tuxedo vibes and honestly when he said that i saw it and i loved it but it's these black slacks uh trousers with this like 
uh what is this called like a satin trim down the leg i saw these and i, I was like oh yeah those are kind of cute but then when i swiped over the rack and i saw the back i noticed that they have no booty pockets which is amazing i love pants in the butt pockets but what sold me was this little tag that says killer <laughs> that is so cool i'm gonna be a killer in these and i love that it literally says killer like i just think that's so cute so cool and the tag itself just sold me how to bring them home did get a chance to pick up another pair of jeans which are these just classic everyday medium wash wranglers i found them in a small size which is very rare i might end up either cutting these into shorts or leaving them as it is but they're in like the most perfect condition so i'm thinking about just listing them on my depop like this and if they don't sell by the time summer comes i will most likely chop them up but jeans and wranglers for two dollars come on you can't beat that can we just talk about the fact that i went to salvation army and i got all that clothes for two dollars each and then i stopped at a yard sale on the way home and all her clothes was two dollars so you know i have to include that haul too i found this bisu bisu little shrug in her pile of clothing and guys nobody was looking through this lady's clothes like nobody and you know i had to go in there and get my hands dirty and dig through these boxes because she had boxes of clothes that was still like not even touched or like dumped over so i found this beautiful brown little shrug in there two bucks I found this amazing AMI. I found this amazing leather. Oh, wait, no, actually, this one my friend gave it to me when I was in line at Salvation Army. But I did find one similar at the yard sale, too. So I found this leather brown, like, coat jacket. Really cute. Well, I didn't find it. My friend did. And she gave this to me. So I had to take her home, of course. But then at the yard sale, I found an exact same one, basically. Also 100% leather, but it's St. John's Bay, and this one's a zip-up. You see? Very similar. But this one has the beautiful, like, little, like, weave of leather between the collar and, like, the, the, or the collar and the front right here. So I thought it was really cute. Two bucks, and it gets better. I found this Orange County Very Faded t-shirt. I thought it was just perfect for mine that my husband's wardrobe of t-shirts are the easiest for me to style, especially because I do hair for a living, so I don't want to get any of my nice vintage clothes, like, totally ruined. So I like to wear these ones. This one, someone cut the sleeves off, but honestly, don't mind it. Got my honeys, this little Dickies button-up. He looks mighty fine in them, and, you know, I had to get it for him. I found these super funky vintage sweatpants at the yard sale and and they turn into shorts so you take this zipper thing off right here and they turn into fun shorts my husband's gonna see if these fit him because he actually really liked them so hopefully they stay in our family also this amazing coat for my husband this one he found actually at Salvation Army but it looked so nice on him like I, he had to bring it home he looks so good in it so that's another one you guys probably saw this in my styling video but i found this at the yard sale for two freaking dollars guys how amazing is this leather jacket i've been trying to find one in my size or just in my liking i guess for so long and I cannot believe I found it for so cheap. So I have four more items to show you guys and they're all accessories. So first thing is this purse. I thought it was so cute and so fun. It's perfect for spring and summer. I love the green and all the flowers. I just think it's super cute. And along with this, I picked up three ties, which is something I've been wanting to style a little bit more of. This one I got for my husband or even for myself for Christmas time, but it's this Looney Tunes Christmas tie. I thought it was so freaking cute. Perfect for winter and for Christmas. 
I love this plaid one, which I also picked up. I love the blues and the greens in it. It even goes well with the, my shirt that I'm wearing right now. So I definitely wear this around my waist or even around my neck into a bow. Really cute. And probably my most favorite item I picked up is this beautiful little coffee tie. I just think it's so cute and so fun. I've been styling this so much since I got it and I am obsessed with it. I think it's so cute. Like look, like it just looks so cute. I feel like adding accessories to your wardrobe definitely spice up like your whole outfit. So I definitely love Okay this. guys, that's gonna be the end of my Salvation Army $2 sale. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a long one, but honestly, there was just so much good stuff. Let me know down below what you guys think though. Like, is it worth going back and doing the $2 sale? Because sometimes I feel like it isn't and sometimes I feel like it is. Like, I have this mixed feelings about it because I get so overwhelmed with like everyone around me. I feel like, I feel like people make it not fun to thrift and I want to, I want to enjoy what I do and that's why I love to do this because I, I enjoy it. I love clothes. I love looking at every piece but when people are shoving and pushing you or even putting their hands right in front of you when you're looking at the clothes like i don't know it just makes it not fun and i don't like that i think it's really mean disrespectful and honestly very overwhelming but let me know your guys' thoughts below was it definitely worth it or should i just skip it next time and pay full price let me know your guys' thoughts. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Give your girl a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below and comment something cool. I'll see you guys Wednesday. Wait, Sunday? <laughs> I'll see you guys Sunday with a brand new video. Bye, guys.